Okay, so welcome to the giveaway. You can see this is free giveaway number four. You'll also notice it does not say equipment giveaway because there is no equipment this time around. Um, now, rules of the game, as before, if you're a previous winner, you're not eligible, trying to spread the love around. Um, uh, if you want to enter into the contest, the first two words in your uh, entry, you know, so in the comments down below, uh, your first two words need to be enter giveaway. Put enter giveaway, and then that enters you into the giveaway. Um, you're only eligible for one entry, so be honest, only one entry. Actually, the that little program that I use to randomly draw goes through, and um, so even if you tried to enter a hundred times, it won't let you. It will only enter, you know, it's un what they call unique comments from unique individuals. Um, shipping is free on me. Um, i got to work on that exactly, because this is a multiple giveaway, so actually I don't think I've mentioned that yet. Um, there's several items being given away, all the exact same thing, so multiple chances to give for uh, winning this time. Um, like I say, shipping's on me in the continental United States. If you're outside of the continuous 48 states, sh shipping's on you. You're still all eligible to enter. It's just you're going to have to pay for shipping. Um, so, enough jibber-jabber. What's, what's the giveaway this time? Books. Probably the most important thing you will have if you want to actually learn electronics. I have hundreds of books. Actually, I've got into the thousands, but you know, when it comes to electronics theory and training manuals and whatnot. I have literally hundreds. I might have close to a thousand because some of the training systems I have can have up to a hundred books just in them. But uh, these are actually textbooks. Um, now these are third edition. So what these are are foundations of electronics, circuits and devices, and this is the third edition. Um, now, you can get this book in different formats. You'll find some of them that don't have the circuits and devices. It's just foundations of electronics. The book is a lot thinner. This one has a lot more in it, the circuits and devices version. Um, now, this is the third edition. So this is an older edition. I think it's from like around 1999 to 2000. So these are used textbooks. Um, now, they still print this book. It's actually in the fifth edition. I actually have the second, the third, the fourth, and two different versions of the fifth edition. Um, so, you know, if you don't win these, you can go on eBay. You can go probably to used bookstores. That's actually where I've been getting these for. I've been buying these on YouTube. Or not on YouTube, on eBay. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, the last week or two, I've been scooping these things up on uh, eBay for the giveaway. So, yes, I'm having to buy these to give them away. Um, and like I say, you can get the, the fourth editions, the fifth edition is actually two different versions of it. Actually, you can grab some of the other ones just to show you what I mean. So, you know, like, here's a fourth edition of it. And here is one of the fifth editions. Now, one thing you'll notice is there's some extra words. Electron flow version. When they went to the 5th edition, they actually came out with two different versions of it. They have an electron flow and a conventional flow versions. We'll cover that. These books cover both styles. And one thing you'll notice is one book's thicker than the other. This one's a little bit larger. They've changed the format a little bit, but it's still the same thing that's in this one. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. This just has a few, basically towards the end, a few modern components um, that these don't have. But even though this has a picture of a microprocessor on it, this has a picture of a 7, you know, 7400 IC on it, they don't really cover that. These are your basic electronics. So these are actually textbooks. If you went to like a high school uh, Votech program, they might use something like this. But uh, you know, if you actually go to the, the, man, you know, the publisher's website, they'll tell you. Mainly what these books are for is the first couple courses usually in an associate's degree program. So if you were to go to college for electrical engineering, there's a really good chance this is the, well, this would be the book that you'd use, the modern version. But yeah, so everything that's in these slightly older ones is, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not like the math has changed. They've just changed, changed the format and made them fancier and probably more expensive. And uh, speaking of expense, these are not cheap books if you buy these new. That book right there, if you go to this publisher's website, you'll find cost over $300. Textbooks are not cheap. They're low production, good, you know, good quality printing and whatnot, but yeah, they're not cheap, so that's just something to keep in mind. You can pick these up on eBay. I've been paying between $10 to $20 a piece for them for the giveaway. 
So yeah, that's money out of my pocket, people. Like I say, I'm just trying to do something nice for a bunch of people this year. So uh, now there are actually other things that you can get with these books. You can get companion manuals with these. You can get instructor's guide. Of course, if it's a school book, there's going to be an instructor's guide. They also have laboratory projects. So, you know, in a third edition, they go along with this series. Actually, for each of the different editions of the book, I have all of the companion manuals. But yeah, these just ha add extra extra test questions and extra projects and sample circuits and whatnot for laboratory. But uh, get these out of the way. These are really nice books. Actually, let me set one of these down here so I can set this flat. Like I say, good hardbound books, good color printing, um, very well laid out. You know, they start you out at the basics, just like when I do the course. You know, you're going to start out somewhere up here. I was going to say with electron theory, the difference of states of matter and whatnot, and and you really need to learn that if you really want to understand electronics. Because if you don't know what an electron is, what it does, and how it how it moves, you're never going to truly understand electronics. Um, but yeah, it takes you up through, you know, your series, parallel circuits, DC and AC circuits, different types of components, you know, eventually you get, gets into capacitors, inductors, you know, reactive circuits. Um, AC, yes, AC gets, you start to get a lot of math. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of math in the non, in the DC portion, but once you get into AC, uh, you're going to start getting into trigonometry, geometry. <laughs> there's a lot of advanced math in electronics. One of the big advantages of a book like this is you don't need to be a math whiz to do it. Formulas and sample, most important word there, calculator sequences. So that's why I had been saying a cheap scientific calculator is really all you need. If you can get a cheap scientific calculator, I will show you. And if you buy books, tech books, and you don't, if you want, if you don't win one of these, and you want to get, you don't need to buy this specific book. There's there's lots of books out there that you can buy that have been printed over the decades, and it'll all be perfectly fine. The more modern ones like this, like I say, they're going to actually have calculate how to use a scientific calculator in them. So, um, but yeah, they're, like I say, really well laid out. You know, these they spend a lot of time and effort trying to make this stuff very understandable. Uh, you know, it's they're actually used in schools. So, you know. Um, now, they have questions throughout these books as well. They have in progress, they have review questions, all kinds of questions. One of the nice things about these books is, if you flip to the back of the book, there's all the answers. So, you know, like chapter 25, they have the practice problems, the in-process learning checks, the review questions, there's what, analytical here or somewhere, yeah. Problems, the, the analysis questions. So, all of the answers are in here. So when you complete a section, when you're using a book like this, answer the questions. Don't cheat. If you cheat, if you, oh, I don't know what that is. I'll just look at the back of the book. Who are, who are you? What, you're, this is not a accredited course you're going to be taking, the one I'm going to be giving, or if you're doing this on your own. You know, it's not like you're, you're cheating to get a, to graduate at the end. The only thing you're cheating is going to accomplish is, is you're not going to learn something. So if you, can't answer a question, obviously you need to go back and maybe possibly review that section. If you get the answer wrong, you take the test, you know, the in-process learning check here, and you get it wrong, well that's telling you that maybe I need to go back and review that section of it. Um, so, practice makes perfect. Uh, you know, and that's why some people have asked me, why do you have so many blasted books, Mike? You forget stuff. I don't have a photographic memory. I can't remember stuff, you know, word for word that I read 20, 30 years ago. Most people can't. <laughs> so, you know, having a library of stuff like this is important. I actually, every, you know, several years, I'll pick up a book like this. I'll, you know, just grab one off my shelf, you know, a random book, and I'll just read it cover to cover. It's the best way to refresh my memory on stuff, because honestly, unless you're an electrical engineer using formulas and whatnot every single day, you're never going to remember the hundreds of different formulas that there are. Reference material, very important. So, uh, like I say, this is probably the most important thing you can have to learn electronics. Um, like I say, and if you don't win, there'll be, you can pick up books like this from different publishers, different, you know, uh, authors. Um, 
the, the internet is just full of them, especially eBay. You just go in there, you know, foundations of electronics or learning electronics, basic electronics. There's just dozens and dozens, actually hundreds of different titles of books. Textbooks are usually a safe way to go because textbooks, um, they're not going to be using junk textbooks usually, in a, especially in college programs for teaching electronics. So it's usually safe to go with something like a textbook. Um, now I have, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, I have six of them here right now. Uh, like I said, I've been buying these over the last week or two on eBay. I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to have. I know I have at least two more are supposed to be delivered to me tomorrow. But there may be a, another one. So there's going to be at least eight of these, possibly nine. Um, so depending how many there is, it's going to be either eight or nine that will be given away. Um, shipping, I've got to figure that out too in the United States. These these books are not light by any stretch of the imagination. They're textbooks, man. You could you could kill somebody with one of these things. Um, so I need to check on shipping so I don't get soaked too bad having to ship all of these things. Because like I say, this is all coming out of my pocket. I guess. Um, none of this was donated. This is all cash out of my pocket. So yeah, it, they might ship media mail, might ship priority mail on a flat rate box. Um, you know, but yeah, I'm probably going to be looking at 80. To, you know, if I do priority mail flat rate boxes, that's going to be what 80 to 100 dollars or more in shipping. So yeah, I need to I need to figure out. But they'll get shipped to you, be it FedEx ground, uh, postal service media mail, or it could be priority mail. I don't know. I just need to box one of these up, weigh it. Measure measure the dimensions, and then uh, <clears throat> I can go to the, the websites and calculate the shipping. But they'll get to you one way or the other. Um, so there you go. That's what uh, the giveaway is this week. Foundations of Electronics and Circuit Devices, 3rd Edition. Uh, like I say, there'll be at least 8 of them, possibly 9. So multiple chances to win. Now, of course, you can only win one. Um, the drawing will be, I'll do just like with the other ones, 8 o'clock next Sunday. So de December the 24th, I'll do the drawing. Uh, you know, I'll record drawing, and it'll be, I'll just keep hitting that start button, basically, on that uh, little program you go to <coughs> that randomly draws uh, comments. Um, I'll just have to click it more than one time, because there's multiple multiple chances to win this time. Um, and then, uh, once I get that video done, I'll upload that to YouTube, and uh, I'll get the book shipped out. Now, I had said there might be... A second drawing this week. It depended if I got something in the mail. Um, I did not get it yet. Uh, so I can't do that drawing. It'll probably be as long as I get it this coming week. I'll get that assembled. But yeah, it's electronic. I need uh, somebody else is donating something, but it needs to be assembled into something else. Let's, I'll just leave it at that. It's random. Get at some point, it's going to get given away. I was hoping to have it for this weekend, but yeah, that didn't work out because I haven't received it yet. But as soon as I get that, whatever it is. I get the thing put together, I'll have that up for a, a free giveaway as well. Hopefully I'll have that maybe for next Sunday. So when I do the drawing for this, there might be a, a second video. Um, but yeah, so enter, take a chance. You never know, you might win one, and Merry Christmas.